So my name's Michael Keneally and this is a brief video about the importance of understanding Mars in December 2020. I've already done a longer video and blog all about Mars and do have a look at that. But I want to say that Mars is in uh, quite a horrible state um, you know, in December, the month we're focusing on now for the December Star Whale Astrology and Healing Newsletter. So basically, um, in recent months, Mars w was progressing forward in the heavens through Vedic Pisces, a sign where he does not do well, the sign of his debilitation. And then he crossed the Gandanta zone from Pisces into Vedic Aries, um, reaching the very beginning of Vedic Aries, but then he came to a standstill and turned retrograde, going back through the Gandanta zone and back into Vedic Pisces, retrograding, 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 then stationing, then turning direct again. Mars is moving direct at the beginning of December 2020. But where is he going? He's moving back towards the Gandanta zone again, that zone of immateriality between Pisces and Aries, a zone of immateriality that is between each of the three water signs and their following fire sign. And then he'll enter Aries. So what a difference. When Mars is in Pisces, he's in a mess. Uh, I do personally feel he's very visionary, but his energy is you know, very messy because it's a water sign. And I certainly have been feeling this very strongly because I have moon in Vedic Pisces. But when Mars enters a Vedic Aries, um, he is completely different kettle of fish. He is the warrior. He can be overbearing and just too much. People with anger issues will have big anger issues. Watch out for it. At the moment, their anger issues are just sort of grumbling away, festering away while Mars is in Pisces. But just wait till Mars gets into Aries. Um, so once Mars is transiting through Aries, the big point is he's moving towards the revolutionary light bearer. He's moving towards Uranus, who is presently retrograding in Vedic Aries. Mars and Uranus become exactly conjunct on the 20th of January next month at 12 degrees Aries. This is super strong revolution for those with planets in Vedic Aries or Vedic Libra opposite. And uh, I've been feeling this transit because, you know, Uranus has already gone over this spot. It's now retrograding to it. And it's exactly on my Rahu, North Node, in my 10th house of Korea. And, you know, I've had such revolution and light coming into my career at this time. And here now, coming up to January, there will be force and energy to manifest that light. And already I feel I've been doing such wonderful work, you know, in my astrology readings but also I'm doing loads of preparation vision work for my Sacred West of Ireland tours. I love my Sacred West of Ireland tours. We live near Ireland's most ancient sacred sites and near WB Yeats country. I studied WB Yeats and T.S. Eliot for my Oxford MA. And I loved doing the tours. They were locked down in March. We had some beautiful tours earlier in March because so many of the places around here have such wonderful land energies. They are called thin places, places where the veils between the worlds are thin. So I am preparing for when I can invite you all back, because my Sacred West of Ireland tours can safely open again and at some point in uh, next year, 2021. So... Look at the dates of this Mars transit in the blog. And if you think it's significant for you, look at my longer video and blog, which I did a month ago on this very difficult Mars transit. 
and plot your best course for handling stability of your mind, for handling anger issues, for putting your power and force into the life area that is Vedic Aries in your birth chart, where Mars and Uranus will meet next month. Have a reading from me on the meaning of the Mars-Uranus conjunction that's upcoming next month in January. How is it best to handle it in your life? What area of, it life, of your life will it specially affect? My wife, Maggie Pashley, does many wonderful healings online, www.maggiepashley.com. And indeed, as a special gift to these very difficult times, our colleague Elizabeth Hendricks has created a totally wonderful Kabbalah course, which is also detailed on the Star Wheel Astrology website. And she has a gift for transmitting the energies of each Sephiroth of the Kabbalah so that we can feel them as the light, the lightning path of the divine manifests through our body in this life. You know, I've, I've done her course and I found it just so special and I can bring back so helpfully the energy of the different facets of the Kabbalah in my body. It's helped me a lot. Have a look at that. Thank you.